All right, switching over now to 2D. 2D. <clears throat> so 2D, uh, a lot and of these- a lot of folks here mm -hmm. uh, do design in 2D. Absolutely. So the rules are different when you're in 2D, but they're still just as important. And uh, this is a very good article as well about uh, design patterns, mm -hmm. but I was able to use the kind of the screenshots here to kind of get an idea of how I can recommend you guys use views and vistas. Yeah. Um, and you go ahead and read the article if you want, but the idea of when you're working in 2D is to use the background, uh -huh. if it's a side scroller, or the areas outside of, you know, just right outside of where the camera is mm -hmm. to kind of create that environment. Yes. Um, let's start with the side scrollers first because it's really easy. Um, fantastic version. Uh, fantastic example is Castlevania Symphony of the Night. There you go. Yes. Castlevania Symphony of the Night. You're, you're running through the forest. Mm -hmm. You know, Alucard's running through the forest. Uh, wolves are running with him. The forest is panning. Mm -hmm. And then suddenly there is the drawbridge to Dracula's castle. It's yeah. going up. He jumps in at the last moment. And then he's in the first level. And he's in the first level. That establishing view shows that in the middle of the dark forest, in the middle of nowhere, mm -hmm. is Dracula's castle. And here comes his son to go whoop daddy's ass. It yeah. creates that immediate sense of how much Alucard wants to get in there. He is running as fast as he can. That's right. He's outrunning wolves. And then he jumps, tracer leaps down into the yes. castle as the drawbridge comes up. Mm -hmm. So you're using that flat 2D plane with the background flying and the foreground, you know, moving as fast as it can to create that opening sensation of, I've got to get in there to kill my father. Exactly. I'm done. This is it. Um, and then the hell the prologue of Cynthia Knight, where you play like the last few minutes of Rondo of Blood, uh -huh. where uh, Richter is going up, you know, to go have the infamous line, "What is man but a miserable pile of of lies?" Mm -hmm. But you go up the, the staircase into the area where Dracula is sitting, his throne room, right? And you walk past, you walk up the staircase, and in the background is this tempest of storm clouds mm -hmm. flowing by, you know, parallax style, with lightning crashing down. Yep, and you got all that that background going on. Yeah, so you, 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 you two D developers, what you're gonna want to do is use that background, and you know flashes in the foreground, and the way that parallax mapping moves. You know parallax layers. I'm not talking about parallax mapping like an RPG maker. I mean literally, multiple layers of backgrounds moving. Yeah. To create that sensation of the world. Um. If you're doing a top-down or you're doing an RPG, I cannot stress how important it is to be able to show distance. Yeah, that's that's what you got to focus on. Stand on the edge of a hill, stand on the top of a tower, stand on a parapet of a castle and show me what's beyond where I'm physically at right now. I agree. You know, show that. So um, let's say that you are, let's, let's say that you're having Link, uh, let's say that you're having your, your fantasy character goes to a castle he gets up on the parapet, he's talking to the knight, and then he just shows the whole kingdom. Yeah. And you see a, a good design of the whole see, kingdom. It's You see the whole thing. Right. And it, it may be a 2D plane, okay? Right. But you're showing depth of field. And then in the background, mm -hmm. rising up high enough that it actually pokes into the clouds is the tower of the, the bad That's guy. That's it. That's what you want to do. Right. That's what you want to do. Again, so, this article here just talks about patterns. That this is not really, uh, this is not as screenshot laden as it could be. Like I say, there's some things here that show off, like you know, clouds and Super Mario World, and this shows off, you know, the way that you can show how high you are in the sky with clouds. But the theory is what you want to understand. You right. want to, you want to know how you can use the, the layering you have, the background, the parallax mapping that you have to convey that sense of world and scale. That's right. And that's, you know, that's that's it. So for the 2D developers in the audience who are listening, you're going to you're con you're constrained to a plane, but you're not constrained by what you can do. Right. Now, there's storytelling elements that they go into in this article, like foreshadowing. Here's where a spider leaves this area and then later on you fight more spiders. You know, you can use those techniques, and I highly recommend reading this article from GameDeveloper.com. Yes, Th this article walks you through all the different uh, things you can do and and why. And why. It, why you do it. The reason I'm not reading it out loud is because it goes well beyond views and vistas. This yeah. is a fantastic 2D level design article. I'll go ahead and I'm going to put it into chat for yes, the live put it audience. Yes, chat, yeah. But for those who are listening on YouTube, um, it's in the description below. Mm -hmm. If you're a 2D game developer, go and read this. Yeah. This is a great article. 
Um, I mean, it even shows things like how you can foreshadow, like in Metroid, you know, mm -hmm. we're going to need the little ball at some point, you know, which Samus curls up into a ball. So we come out of this pipe, we see this, we now know we're going to need this at some point. Absolutely. Or here's Link, here's a little rock that we can't lift up until we get the super gloves. We now know this is something we're going to get. Well beyond views and vistas, but still highly, highly relevant. Right. So for you 2D developers, focus on showing the world through either the background or from a higher elevation mm -hmm. and that way your, your players will get a sense of scope yes and an idea of how what's to come in your and world what's to come so yeah same same idea as 3d yeah you just a uh, different technique to present it in 2d that's yeah. all don't be afraid to go into photoshop and make beautiful images and pour them into the background of your engine that that's actually a really good thing to do yeah yeah. Is it shows an element of, of realism. Yeah.